Hello world, how's it going? I hope you guys are doing well. If not, as always, I hope it gets better for you. So today, I wanted to show you guys my worms. So here in the main fish room, I've got this 10 gallon over here and I've been keeping these black worms in here for quite some time now, well over a year. Well, well year, over a year. You can see a lot of white dots in there. Those are seed shrimp. Totally nothing to worry about if you see those in your aquarium. And yeah, these are black worms. You can see where they're popping up through the substrate everywhere. Slithering around. Let's give these guys some food. That way we can see them come out a lot more. Oh, look at that. That's a nice ball of them. And they just keep going. As far as the food here, I use the Tetra Color Tropical Granules. Just kind of sprinkle them around everywhere. Then I also use these shrimp pellets, which is a lot of a uh, soybean hole and some other stuff. They love this stuff. All right, we'll give it some time and then we'll come back. And if you're wondering what this is, this is actually how I transfer them over to other tanks. I use that foam as they colonize in there. So now there's a few more out now that I fed them. Yeah, these black worms, also known as California black worms at about four inches as far as keeping these they've been really easy to keep i've been keeping them kind of in a more neutral water but really you can keep them in soft acidic or harder water they don't really care and as far as temperatures i mean they live out in the wild in marshes ponds mud puddles all kinds of uh decaying substrate because they like to eat the organics and the microorganisms. And another great thing about these uh, black worms is kind of like a garden. Now, when you have a planted aquarium, they're really great for the roots of the plants because they'll eat the decaying roots that are at the bottom. And it really becomes a great symbiotic relationship because I've actually got black worms in a tank like this, even with all these big fish. Down in this substrate, there's actually a ton of those black worms as well. So if I were to stir that up, they'd all kick up into the water column. They'd be snacking all over the place. And it just adds a nice little extra to the environment for your fish. Now I am planning on setting up another system for these guys, a uh, different tank. I got these from the store and often whenever you get them online or the store, there'll be these flat worms that come with them as well. So I hand picked these maybe a year or so ago and put them in here. That way I wouldn't get those worms. But when I do reset this, I'll probably end up using some rock like this. See how that works with them. Maybe some sand in some spots, but I'll end up putting them in a tub. But what I would like to do with this rack is actually on one of these. I would like to put a couple tubs or something that runs the water through, sumps it through. That way you can always have decent water running through them as I feed them and have a few trays so I could dig out a sun, let some grow out, and let's just keep working through them. I think that would be awesome for the fish room and really, really help trigger breeding. So stay tuned, subscribe for all that if you want to see all this that's going to happen there for that. As I mentioned before, they are easy to keep. And don't really require much. You can feed them regular fish food. You can even feed them scraps if you wanted to. And as far as most people recommend keeping them in a fridge, I am not a big fan of that. So when you go to the fish store, they're like, keep them in your fridge, they'll last longer. Well, you're actually gonna kill them over time. So just keep them in a normal tank like you would keep a fish or a shrimp or something. Biologically sound water, nice mature environment, and they'll be happy. And you can get them going, breed some live food for yourself. I mean, this is like gold for fish. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully learned something. I don't know. Let me know if you did in the comments. Either way, if you liked it, hit the like button. That would be awesome. Subscribe. That would help for the algorithms. I really, really appreciate you all watching, checking this out. Share this with some friends. That could help the channel more than anything. And yeah, let's... uh. Let's get this horde going. I figured, uh, I don't know why I didn't do this earlier, but why not the LRV horde? Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I appreciate you all. Until next time, everybody. Peace. Have a great one.